Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today we have episode number 4 of our Cardiff City career mode. Um, I just want to say before we get into the start of the episode, I just want to say uh, a big thank you to everyone for the recent support on my channel. Uh, in the last like month or so, since FIFA's been out, I've gained like so many subscribers and that. Um, it's actually really, really um, good to see because it motivates me and obviously the views are really, really like improving and doing well each video so um, yeah that's uh, a really good thing obviously I haven't been able to upload as much as I want to but I can't um, like I can't do more uploads just because I'm too busy with work and stuff so um, I don't really get much time to make the videos so that's why they're not coming out as regularly as I want them to like I said I'm sorry for that but I'm gonna try and get them out as much as I can but yeah, before we get into this, if you could leave a like on the video, uh, that would be great. Comment your um, thoughts and opinions on the video and the series so far. If you do enjoy it, then please let me know. Also, subscribe if you are new. Post notifications on so you don't miss an episode. So, we're on deadline day right now. <clears throat> and the um, first thing I wanted to do is sign two more players. And I was looking through the comments through the previous like three videos. And these two, Ampadu and Saar were the two players that I've picked out from the comments because most of the other ones that people suggested I just didn't have enough money for. I think Clive that was there wouldn't have enough money. Someone suggested an old centre back uh, for a free but he'd already been moved so I couldn't actually put a bid in for him. Uh, who else was there? There was... who else was there? Joe Allen. I was going to get him but then Ampadu can play CDM as well so he's, kind of, he's going to be cheaper and bit more versatile in a way so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so we're gonna go in for the first and um, going in for Ampadu first but unfortunately because it's deadline day I can't scout him so I don't know how much he's worth so I'm either gonna be overpaying or underpaying if I underpay and they just decline it straight away I won't be able to get him until January so obviously I've only got 18 million do you reckon I can get a player swap if I did a centre back okay not a centre back what about a striker I guess oh, Chelsea won't want any of these players will they they're not going to want a striker, are they? Winger or fullback? No, off for other position. Fullbacks. Who don't we use? Joe Bennett we don't really use. Yeah, I'm just going to offer money. I'll just offer money. Uh, how much should I do be worth? Like, 5 million? 6? Oh, I don't know. That's probably way under. Okay, that's fine. I've paid too much then. That's annoying. I know I've paid too much. Just from uh, just based off that, that's really annoying. But because I haven't scouted him, didn't have time because it's deadline day, I just had to do it. So hopefully we can get him for cheap, like in terms of wage. I don't want it to go below 10 mil. Pretty sure it won't. So we should be all right. But yeah, um, we're just. This is just the basic stuff. So well, how much do you want to? Mm. I'll give him 60 grand and I'll give him like a, I don't know, 168 bonus, do you reckon he take that? It's probably way too much, but yeah, I'm going for it. Okay, fair enough. Now, the question is, Asar, I don't know how much he is, and I'm not going to have enough money for him, am I? Oh, it's annoying, it's really annoying because I'm not going to have enough money for him. 9.3, offer fee, let's do 7 and 8. Oh, I don't know, that's enough. Oh, they want so much more money. No. Counter. Um, remove that. No, I hate when it does that. It's so annoying. Um, let's do 8.5. I'm not going to be able to get this guy. Yeah, I knew it. Wow. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to get him. I will go back in for him in January, I think, when I, get, when I sell some more players off. But... That is, that is really annoying. So, just before we move into the next part of the episode, I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to put in. Where's Ampadu? He's there. Right. Let's put him up here. Uh, I'll probably put him there. Actually, you know what? I'll put him there. Oh, will I? I? Actually, I'll do that. I'll do that. That's what I want. That, that's what I want. Right. Okay. So, if we keep the, keep the team like that. We're not going to start Ampadu, because obviously he's a young prospect, so that's fine like that. Um, I think now what we do is going to jump into our first game of the episode, 
let me just quickly check who we will be playing in this episode. I'll just let you guys know what I'm going to roughly do. Um, if we go into the calendar, uh, obviously we're going to move into a new month. We've got Arsenal, Chelsea, and City. Wow. I think I'll just. Play, I think I'm going to play Arsenal, Chelsea, and City, or I could do Burnley as well. But anyway, guys, let's get into the Arsenal game. Uh, I'm going to sim it now, and I will see you guys in the Arsenal game. Right, guys. Now we are back into the first game of the episode, which is against Arsenal. Now, this this run of games was was very frustrating for me because obviously, you know, kind of we haven't got the best of sides, like the strongest of sides. We've got a good side, like built building up. We give it a few seasons because I I do expect this career mode to last at least three seasons, four seasons. But um, yeah, we had three of the top five teams in the Premier League in three weeks so yeah not great for us but we get the ball rolling in the this game uh, like I normally do I keep the first like two, two minutes in of the game from kickoff and um, we actually had nearly had a chance this game so uh, yeah I kept that in unlucky from Hoylet good save from uh, Leno uh, who's in goal <clears throat> uh, I tried to have an attack there with Narsing and I had lost the ball and they've gone on a counter attack with Danny Welbeck. He um, whips it back post, and uh, yeah, this it must be a new signing because I don't know who it is. Uh, I couldn't catch his name then, but yeah, he uh, absolutely pings it. Lodra Lod Lodirio. Yeah, don't know how you pronounce that. Lodiro, Lodiro. Yeah, there you go. He bicycle kicks it into the top corner, so we went one 0 down, and then again. Good chance there. Good save from our young keeper, uh, the new signing, uh, Dragovsky. I'm going to call him that, yep, because I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. But they get a corner here. Arsenal, uh, we do kind of clear it, and then we kind of clear it again. And then Ozil heads it back to, um, I don't know who that is, actually. That's a new signing. Koscielny into Ozil. Ozil down to Welbeck, back to Ozil. Really good save again. The keeper was stretching for that. I'm surprised he saved that, to be fair, because um, that was going into the bottom corner there. But Arsenal... The thing about Arsenal when I played them, I think, I don't know if uh, in the update like they changed ultimate difficulty like to make it harder because for the first like 20 minutes I could not touch the ball, like literally not touch the ball, they were ping, pinging it around my players like non-stop, I just couldn't do anything so yeah, um, that chance there from the corner, um, they were playing it around and then Danny Welbeck just absolutely uh, sent it into like row Z so Moving on into the second half now, Lacazette um, running down the wing, whips it into Danny Welbeck, and yeah, what you, you can't really complain to be honest because that was a really nice header, just floated it into the top corner. Keeper mm, questionable, probably not, but at the same time he probably could have done a little bit better. But yeah, we move on into the 61st minute. Hoyler gets a chance here, great save from Leno again, heads it back across the defender uh, into the box, which is quite questionable. Um, then it's just bouncing around. We somehow get the ball back and then we lose it again. And then we pick it back up again with Harry R. Loftus Cheek has the ball, plays it to Narsing. He plays it back to Loftus Cheek, and it's a very poor shot from Loftus Cheek. But um, it, it just, it's just showing that we are we were making chances in this game. But what a move this was, by the way. Like one touch passing. Reed, I wanted to open up the body in him for, to finesse it to a corner, but it didn't work. So yeah. Um, good save from the keeper again. Couldn't quite get the rebound with Loftus Cheek. Moving on again, Loftus Cheek gets a shot blocked. Ampadu, the new signing, does get a shot off, but um, unfortunately he couldn't score. Um, I'm pretty sure that's his weak foot anyway, and in the box. But yeah, um, here we were just it was a, just scrappy in, at this point, and then somehow that goes in in the 87th minute to kill the game off. The same guy that scored the bicycle kick has scored two screamers in this game, and that put us to bed. I was just like. I've just it's just one of those games where you just have to take it on the chin and move on because they've scored two out of this world goals you know so yeah it was kind of a frustrating game um, obviously yeah we didn't really create much chances which is kind of annoying but now we move on into an even harder game against Chelsea at, away from home as well so uh, first um, they kicked off obviously Moses down the line with uh, Hazard, them two are playing some nice football together early on and again Moses picks the ball back up from Hazard, whips it back across the goal and I think that was Morata, back post nearly got it but good uh, hands from the keeper there. We get a chance here with Hoyler into Loftus-Cheek, he plays it back across to Narsing, Narsing into Origi, really nice run and it's actually a good save from Rob Green who surprisingly starts in goal for Chelsea, I don't know why. Because like normally the AI, like the computer, that it always does weird, like pl players to start for the big teams. But yeah, 
don't know why he's starting. He makes two good saves in the space of like two in-game minutes. So yeah, um, you can't really fault him. Uh, second half here, this game did not have many highlights to be honest until like the second half where Murata here, it's just typical Murata isn't it, um, in terms of like the header and the goal, uh, really well worked goal from Murata there, can't really complain about that, uh, keeper questionable probably, it went like down the middle kind of but the, too much power on it, anyway, Loftus-Cheek twats the bar there, it's so annoying. I hit the bar like three times in this whole episode over the course of the three games that I do play. Uh, really frustrating. Moses here, I don't know how he's kept that up. And look at this for goalkeeping and jamminess from Giroud. The keeper's come out to punch it and he punched the centre back instead. Giroud's flicked it on ahead of him and it's hit the left post, rolled across the line and then hit the other post and gone in. How How more like jammy do you want to get with that that is a joke first of all Moses slices it up into the air and the keeper just punches the center back and then it rolls across the line and it hits the other post and goes in very frustrating times in this episode look the keeper again he's just, what is he doing he's nowhere near the ball but yeah frustrating times in this game uh, brought on Bobby Reed because uh, I need a bit more pace up front plays a nice ball into Narsing who drills that in the bottom corner I mean it was the 81st minute I was like you know what I could probably scab a draw like Chelsea did yesterday uh, against United so I mean it, if they can do it in real life then we could do it in this game but unfortunately that was not the case as we uh, go into the closing stage of this game and yeah we we were not able to get any points away from Chelsea but I mean it wasn't that bad of a game but it's just certain things not going my way and you just you're playing Chelsea you can't really do anything about it but yeah, we move on to the final game of the episode and we go against an even harder opponent once again, the current champions, Man City, who are sat top of the table right now. They've only lost one game, drawn one, free, uh, and then one free out of the games they have played. And yeah, we're not looking in a good position at the table. I think we're like near 14th, 15th after this game. I'm pretty sure we were. Anyway, we start off uh, quite sharp actually. Uh, I thought Loftus Sheet was going to get that ahead of, uh, I think that was Danilo who slid in there. Um, he was pretty unlucky to not get a chance or get a shot off a goal. But they don't clear their lines properly. We play the ball into Hoylet there, but he um, misses his shot because Bravo makes a good save. And then Narsing probably should have done better with that effort uh, on his weaker side though. So you can't really complain. But anyway, 8th minute in. Uh, nice little uh, bit of dribbling there. Uh, I don't know who that was from, but Sane hits the post. Bounces back in. No one gets it. We clear it out uh, from Bamba. Really nice defending. Hoyler plays a really nice ball into the left back. Um, Cunningham, he runs inside. I went to shoot across goal and I I just messed up the shot. Um, but it's just showing that we have chances. Like like most of the chances that I show, like this one, okay, this is a good save from the keeper. But most of them that like I show, I show to actually show you guys that I am making chances instead of just scoring or just conceding you know I try to keep the highlights not just highlights I like to show extended highlights you know just to make it a bit more fun and interesting to watch but anyway um, a couple of chances there for us but we couldn't get anything going Silver really nice footwork there to Bernardo Silva cuts it back to Silver again and that's a really really good and typical City goal but keeper questionable he's only diving with his legs there I don't know why um, it was a bit, yeah, a bit, um, bit dodgy that one. I don't know if he could, he probably could have just used his hands and saved that and put it out for a corner. But I mean, I'm not going to complain. Uh, Bamba here does a fake shot. I didn't mean to do that, but he was going to boot the ball, so I had to stop it somehow. Um, Narsing here drilling in with his pace. Um, still got that pace. Boom! Drills it into the top corner. He even made the goal move off 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 the ground a little bit. Um, so he picks up the ball. One one now. Uh, we are pushing on. It's only the 57th minute. Don't forget. Pushing on to get another goal. 88th minute now. Closing stages. Origi gets the ball. Gets a bit lucky because it bounces back to him. Goes to the shoot. Misses it. I go to tap it in with a Harriata, but he's too slow. And Bravo does a weird save. And I was just like, what is that? Uh, we get a corner. Um, great header from Patterson. Our right back. And it's cleared off the line. We could have won against City, but um, that was the last action for us in this game, unfortunately. Uh, we do draw. Um, once this all rolls out, but I needed a bit of time to outro the video. So, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video, of course. Comment your thoughts and opinions on the video down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!